Damien Priest is opening up about his upcoming cash-in, so we'll see what he had to say. We'll also take a look at what's new for Bailey, Naomi, and much more. Starting things off with Damien Priest because as we get deeper into WrestleMania season, a lot of fans think that Damien's cash-in time is also quickly approaching. Damien Priest has held the Money in the Bank contract since early July 2023. He had a few cash-in attempts during those early months of first holding the contract. One of the biggest ones being an attempt to cash in during a war games match, but something always got in the way from the cash in and actually happening. And in more recent months, it feels like there hasn't even been any attempts from Damien Priest at all. A lot of fans have called out the plot hole because obviously WWE doesn't hide from the fact that Seth Rollins is a pretty banged up champion. We saw him suffer that actual real knee injury a few months back and his bad back has been a very popular topic of discussion as well. And just throughout his entire title reign, it just feels like his arc and story is about being a full-time fighting champion that doesn't know how to pace himself out and take things slowly. He just wants to fight non-stop. So even the character's on-screen story and journey is about being a fighting champion that's all beaten up and broken down. So a lot of fans think it basically doesn't make sense for Damien Priest to not even attempt to cash in right now. The world champion on your show is beaten down, banged up, and extremely distracted right now between his situation with Drew McIntyre, The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Cody Rhodes. It just seems like there's a lot of windows of opportunity for Damien to sneak his way in and find the ideal time to cash in on Seth Rollins. So that's been one of the flaws pointed out by the fans. Seth Rollins seems so vulnerable right now in so many different ways. But no move is being made by Damian Priest. Damian still has technically until July to cash in, but fans speculate that this cash in will happen long before then. It's been a popular theory for months now that Damian Priest will attempt to cash in on the grand stage of WrestleMania 40. We've also mentioned before how that would be karma in a way for Seth Rollins. Seth cashed his Money in the Bank contract during a world title match at WrestleMania back in 2015 to turn a singles match into a triple threat match and escape with the title. So what happens if Seth finds himself in the same situation again, but this time he's on the receiving end of getting cashed in on by someone joining the WrestleMania match late and making it a triple threat to steal the title? That's been the most popular cash-in idea for Damian Priest, but Damian recently spoke with the Babyface podcast and gave a more detailed look into his character's mindset for when it comes to matters related to the Money in the Bank cash-in. He had this to say about that topic, quote, Just waiting and seeing. I've got until July. I'm good. It doesn't expire at WrestleMania. I think a lot of people get confused with that because it used to be at WrestleMania, but I have till July, so man, I'm chilling. We're fine. It's gonna happen. I see the stuff online where people aren't sure if I'm going to cash in. Is it going to be successful in championship material? When it happens, I'm going to shut everybody up. I'm not going to let everybody know when because that would be silly, but it'll happen and it's going to happen big. So I'm looking forward to that day and kind of shutting a lot of people up, end quote. So a lot of great points and insight from Damian Priest. Damien Priest saying that the contract doesn't expire at WrestleMania seems to be a little nod and acknowledgement to the WrestleMania cash-in fan theory. Damien Priest is saying that it's not a must that he cashes in at WrestleMania because the contract's good until July, so when you look at it that way, it does make a lot of sense. He's not going to force the cash-in at WrestleMania and ruin things when he still has a little over three months to find an even better moment and an opportunity to cash in. He said he also hears the buzz and discussion from the fans that Damien Priest will have an unsuccessful cash-in, and he claims that won't be the case at all, and how he can't wait to shut those fans up when he walks out of whatever event it is that he ends up being the world heavyweight title champion. So we'll have to see if Damien is about to cash in during WrestleMania season, or will he take this contract even deeper and closer to its expiration date in July? It was a big week for Mercedes Monet this week as she officially made her highly anticipated debut for AEW. She opened up the show with a promo and made another big save during the show to kick off that run. 
Another big story surrounding Mercedes' debut is that three WWE superstars were in the building and attended AEW Dynamite to support her. Those three superstars being Naomi, Bailey, and Tamina, all three very close friends to Mercedes. Everyone knows that Bailey and Mercedes are the best of friends in real life, dating way back to the early days of their NXT time together. They accomplished so much together on screen, from being arch rivals to tag team partners. Same thing goes for Naomi and Tamina. Mercedes has big ties to them because when she was first called up in WWE, she was put into the Team Bad faction alongside Naomi and Tamina. So those are three very supportive close friends that just had to invade the AEW event in order to support their friend. Some fans think it's weird to have WWE superstars attending AEW events since they're a competitor, but this is about friends supporting friends with the same industry, so it's completely different. But the three of them did have fun with the idea that they were technically invading a AEW event as WWE superstars. Naomi, Bailey, and Tamina posted several backstage clips at AEW Dynamite of the three of them putting on wigs and masks to hide their identity at AEW Dynamite. And Bailey tells Naomi that everyone is going to see through their disguises, which they definitely did. But it was still extremely fun to see the three of them being there to support her. It's also interesting to see Bailey and Naomi hanging out together outside of the ring because the two of them could be partnering up together on WWE television any day now after WWE hinted at the idea of Naomi feeling bad for Bailey's odds being stacked against damage control. We can definitely expect to see way more content of Bailey and Naomi being together on screen, so that should be a lot of fun to watch this entire story unfold. Despite the odds being so stacked against Bailey, she's still a heavy favorite to dethrone Io Sky at WrestleMania 40, and if it doesn't happen then, that'll be the first title Bailey has held in WWE since the Thunderdome era. It'll also be her first world title reign as a babyface since 2019. So altogether, it's going to be things from Bailey that we haven't seen at all in a handful of years. And assuming that Naomi and Bianca Belair will help balance out the odds against damage control in the coming weeks, maybe it's possible that Bailey will thank them by giving Naomi and Bianca the first few cracks at the WWE women's title. So it'll be interesting to see some of those feuds revisited in current day. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.